So if you know you have an autonomic problem and you're passing out, what we're looking at is a loss of blood flow to the brain. Passing out becomes the mechanism to lay you back down, get blood flow back to the brain. This can happen from, number one, we're losing blood pressure. And if we're losing blood pressure, we eventually will lose enough blood pressure to the brain, you pass out. Also, we can have it if your heartbeat slows way down. And that's gonna also cause the amount of blood that enters your head to go way down. And then the third option is that both things happen, where your heart rate drops, and your blood pressure drops to the point where you lose blood supply and then you tip over. To step apart from that for a moment, we can also have problems where maybe the heart can beat fast enough and in the body, the pressure is high enough, but we can see that we can have an occlusion or a kink in the arteries that go into the head. So even though the blood pressure is high, if we cut off blood supply in the neck, that can also cause us to pass out. And we see these in different positional problems, especially people that have a lot of mobility in their neck or a whiplash injury or something that's been done to injure their neck. So things to look out for.